Good morning, welcome to today's RC Coffee Chat. And you're looking to a gu- looking at a guy who's had three days flying back to back. And I'm knackered, if I'm honest. In today's topics, we have oh, three days of flying back to back. Uh, we've oh yeah, point number two. I am a little bit behind on YouTube comments at the moment. I'd cleared a load last night, uh, and I've apparently got eight more to get back to, uh, get back to. Uh, what else we got? Oh, PL, PLA King uh, have a Cyber Monday Bonanza. We'll find out about that in a moment. Uh, and oh, the Wanknetic. You're going to find out about that in a minute as well. Okay, oh, and also some LEDs as well, worth of, uh, of worth special note too. So, yeah, let's get back to topic number one. Three days of flying back to back. Wow. I didn't fly all week last week, and then we went flying Friday, we went flying Saturday, and we went slow sewing on Sunday. That would be class. There's happy days. Uh, yeah, really good fun. I've. <laughs> I would like to say that I've flown myself out, but I'd quite happily go flying today if I had the opportunity, <laughs> if I'm frankly honest. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of the fun which we had over the weekend. Uh, Dave took his, uh, he finally got his Hornet FPV flying wing. He maidened it uh, and yeah, it all went fine. He did chicken out on the FPV maiden. Someone like me, when I just stuck the goggles down and threw it. Uh, he did a line of sight first. But that said, it flew really, really well. Oh, and also the Raven flying wing. I changed the motor down from a 2200 kV D2826, uh, which was suffering really badly from torque roll. Bonkers. Uh, I think you, I'm sure you heard me mention it previously. I just basically knife edged the whole field uh, because the torque roll was just mental on it. And I uh, changed it down to a 1450kV motor uh, with a 7x5 prop. Uh, much, much more manageable now. Um, number one, not so noisy because the other one was a bit of a screamer. Uh, and yeah, on the flip side, the Hornet is now a lot more flyable, longer battery, uh, fl- longer battery life because it's more efficient and less currents being drawn. Uh, and yeah, done that model fly brilliantly inverted. Happy days! So I'm quite chuffed with that one now. Uh, it's taken a while, but yeah, much more enjoyable. Uh, what have I got on there? Oh, I've got loads of DVR footage. I didn't really get much like normal like HD video, but I did get loads of uh, DVR footage, which you'll see over the rest of this week, I'm sure. Uh, Oh, did take the Phantom up as well. That was really, really enjoyable. Uh, Oh, and Cy and his flappy AXN. You'll find out about that in a later episode. (laughs) I've never seen anybody break the glass fiber shaft in an AXN. Even I've not managed to do that, but Cy did. (laughs) It was hilarious. What else have we got? Oh, Saturday fun. Oh, uh, Dave stuck his uh, Hornet in a tree. And uh, actually, looking back at the footage, which Dave's popped on uh, uh, from in the Facebook group, uh, which we will get to in a moment, uh, is that, yeah, he was really unlucky. He literally just caught a branch, and then that made him fly in to the actual trees. So he was really, really unlucky with that one. Really unlucky. Um, and I don't worry, Dave. As mentioned, and as you've already seen, I caught it on the DVR. It was like, whoa, what happened there, Dave? <laughs> Have you gone in the tree? Yes, Matt. <laughs> oh, nuts. Nuts. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I spent Sunday on the slope as well. We will get to that special topic in a moment. Uh, and I did break two servos on the weekend. And uh, if you'd like to see how one of them broke, uh, it's actually in the Facebook group. <laughs> That's loud. Uh, there is Andrew with his Pluto. Oh, that would be the reason why a, I broke a servo on the weekend. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good. A very heavy Pluto piling into my Zach's feed uh, did cause some damage, uh, and which was the servo. It just goes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. but really, really good day. Very cold day, but a very, very good day. Uh, and yeah. Next topic, PLA King. Okay, Harvey King have 
uh, done their Cyber Monday, and I'm just having to scroll back up. Which page am I on? Page one. Uh, basically, it's a PLA clear out. Uh, amongst there, there are some models. Now, I've been through it myself. Uh, by the way, this little model is very, very cool. One of the lads up at one of the flying clubs has got one. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, frankly, I won't be buying it for 40 quid uh, because I don't think it will last very long. Uh, instead, I've bought one for it half the price, uh, which has been shipped and, the, and on the way to me from Banggood, which was in a previous coffee morning. Uh, so I'm quite chuffed, well it's less than 20 quid, uh, so I'm super chuffed about that, uh, so I won't be buying that one. And no real big surprise, PLA King are having a PLA clear out. There are some models mixed in with this, but very, very few. And from all the hype which I got from the other pilots, not, not just like it one club, this was mixed over two and a bit clubs, if that makes sense. So two flying clubs which I fly at and um, some guys which I also fly with, they all said that the Hobby King uh, Cyber Mondays and Black Fridays were um, unbelievable. And being new into this hobby, I was really excited about this. I had set myself a really good budget uh, to pick up some models and what a washout to be frankly honest it is being absolutely dire so all I've really picked up is a battery charger and some batteries uh, there is a model which took my attention which is the Skywalker we will get to that one in just a moment uh, let me just open that up in a tab the Piper Cub, I would strongly suggest that you do not purchase. I've actually got the Grasshopper, which is basically a green version of this one, and the undercarriage on it is utter diabolical. Uh, one, and I, I won't even say less than perfect landing, it was just like a normal landing, boom, and it just shattered into a million pieces. Uh, just absolute rubbish uh, for the landing gear. So you do, yeah, it's just one of those models which. You, you would have thought with a high wing model, it would be a nice, good model for a trainer, a slightly inexperienced pilot, but no, um, you'll, you'll just get annoyed with the landing gear, just pinioned to million pieces. So yeah, not good so far. Scrolling down, lots of batteries of very peculiar sizes. Radjet, I've got one of those. Frankly, I'm bored of it. The, uh, the uh, again, there's only really one model worth noting by the size of Skywalker, which we'll get to in a moment, is the AXN. Absolutely fantastic model, really good price. Uh, if you are looking to get into the hobby, the AXN model is the, like, the best model, which, or that format of model is like the best model which you can choose. Uh, there's many reasons for that. Uh, the main one uh, is the motor, is it the back? It's not on the front. So when you see these trainer aircrafts when they've got the motor at the front, do not go for one of those because the first thing which is going to go in the ground would be the motor. At least with like the for the AXN format, uh, is the it's the battery or the big chunk of foam in front of the battery which goes in the ground first. Uh, so yeah, I, I can tell you, I've still got my original AXN over there, and the beating which it's taken uh, is unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, that is a good deal. There's one good deal available on Banggood, uh, sorry, on uh, PLA King, uh, and that's the AXN. Really, really good deal. Uh, loads and loads of meh for it. They're even those are not even, look at the price point on them. It's crazy. It's just, it's just frankly not what I'd been led to believe that the previous PLA King offers were absolutely mental and I've just not seen it. I've just, this year is PLA, that's all I'm saying. You can have a wander through, I'll put a link to their site in the video description, it's a bit pants. Now there was one model which I oomed in over for a few minutes, but the reality is, is that it's 63 pounds, so it is over my personal threshold of the 50 quid. Uh, so it has to be a special model. The Mini Skywalker is absolutely amazing. I love my little Mini Skywalker to bits. It is a brilliant model, to say the least. Uh, but that said, one of these, I thought, wow, it was £63. And then I thought, hang on, shipping. So I went into my shopping cart. So I've added that one in. Uh, and then if I go in here and go estimate shipping, 
uh, it comes out with it's past force 24 so that's eight pound 24 uh, so where's my maths yeah so that comes out it's 71 pound 77 now the thing is is that if you go to banggood uh, you can buy exactly the same model uh, if you put the discount code affiliate six in the top right hand corner then the total price for delivery is £73.08, which is, oh, £1.31 £1 cheaper. So for those of you guys which are based in the United States, that's about $2. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I might get slapped with import tax. Yeah, that could quite well happen. But on the flip side, what I'd like to point out is PLA King's customer support is absolutely diabolical. Whereas at least with Banggood, they're pretty damn good. Which one do you think I'd buy from? Let your own decision on that one. Uh, and by the way, I'm not buying it, so I can close those two tabs off. Yeah, because I could buy it for a couple of like one pound thirty one more expensive and have good customer support to go with it. But it's not doing it for me, so I'm not buying it in short. Uh, so yeah, the only real deal decent deal as far as I can see on their Cyber Monday uh, is the AXN uh, and that's really more of a trainer model um, yeah bit of a letdown right uh, next topic which we've got is the Wanknetic now as many of you know this is a POS uh, and I have many witnesses uh, on the slope that I did my best to get this one to fly now I did get some video footage of this uh, and there are some photos let me put that there gently am uh, let me go and grab my photos uh, I did have a special landing uh, I don't know if you can see her on the slope uh, I did manage to put it in a, a small tree on there uh, it was absolutely diabolical uh, other wings would fly brilliantly this one absolute POS uh, so this one, uh, I, I need to get this right, so I just need to check on my show notes in the background. Uh, yeah, we tried, okay? I have multiple witnesses, uh, and a couple of us tried to get her to fly, uh, and it just wouldn't have it on the slope. Uh, she was doing nose bobbing. Uh, we loaded her up with some more weight. We moved the battery forwards. Uh, it just couldn't, it just wouldn't fly. Well, it did fly, but it just couldn't keep, couldn't get it up. There you go, that's some irony for a model. It couldn't get it up. Uh, so this one is destined to go in the cement mixer. And I've got two of these lipos, which I bought off PLA King. Uh, and in both instances, two of these cell, uh, two batteries bought exactly the same time, both suffering from exactly the same issue, which I've got a dead cell in there. Now, I'm not brave enough to go and start hacking these apart and maybe rescue them and turn it into a 3S instead. Uh, so I really don't fancy that idea. So instead, I'm going to see if I can charge it up and make the charger think it's a 3S model, a uh, 3S battery. Uh, and then um, all I'm going to say, just imagine that stuck on there, another one on the other wing, an air rifle and some fireworks. Oh, and a cement mixer. So I did say quite a while ago that if this one didn't perform uh, on the slope, that it was going to go in the cement mixer. It didn't perform in the slope mix it, it, on the slope, so it is going in the cement mixer, and she's going to go down with a bang. <laughs> what an utter piece of crap! Let's not even go there. Right, changing topic. I did see on Banggood last night that they've been and released a load of LED boards. Now I've been and picked myself up six of these little boards. Uh, they are 5730 uh, LEDs, and the reason why I've, I've gone for red, uh, green, and blue, I think, that I've bought two of each. Uh, and the reason why I bought two of each, because you can get them cheaper when you buy more than three. Uh, so I bought, well, it looks like they're going to work pretty well. Now, there is one note in there, which you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of those in there. And I was thinking 5730 LEDs, they're really bright ones. So you may have seen those uh, LED strips before, uh, and you'll know that there's 3528s, which they work. They're, you, you can see the colors and they're quite bright. Uh, but you have three, basically you have three different types of LEDs with a couple of variations thrown in. Uh, you have 3528s, uh, which are okay. 
for just some like subtle lighting, maybe underneath a desk, for example. Then you've got 50-50s, which are, uh, yeah, if you're going to buy some LED strips, like for in your house and stuff like that, or some lighting, maybe to go outside or in a, in a garage or something like that, 50-50s all the way. They're super bright, decent energy consumption, etc., etc. But 5730s or 5630s, they are very bright. And I mean very bright. So they are twice the, basically twice the brightness of 5050s. So uh, what I'm thinking is, mate, in those two, those little boards, so if I could flip back a screen, that little board, we could get that back on the back of the Hornet wing uh, to really make the model pop out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to run one or two boards on the back of my little Hornet wing. And the reason for that is because each LED, uh, compared to a 5050 LED, uh, which only can uh, draws 60 milliamp the hours uh, these 5730s uh, are going to be drawing about 150 milliamp the hours each so with six of those we're talking about 900 milliamp the hours or in plain English just underneath an amp okay so uh, on a small little model uh, like the Hornet that is going to chew into the flight time that said on the flip side the ability for for us to get like a little convoy going is going to be a lot damn easier if the other pilots can spot each other uh, on the flight line because we can see each other by a great big flashing well a great big led board uh, on the back so it is like that double-edged sword isn't it is that we do get this reduced flight time compared to being able to spot each other much much more easily uh, in the sky and again the reason why i'm thinking is that at this time of the year, it's not the best. Uh, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, really bright days. Sunday, it was quite misty and overcast. Uh, so imagine that in the goggles. Yeah, anything which makes the model, like the other models spot, like stand out in the sky is gonna be happy days. And then to be fair, uh, Stu was flying his around. Uh, he was he did have a 1500 battery in his, in his model uh, and he got 15 minutes of airtime out of it and with mine with 1.3s i was getting about eight minutes of flight time out of it as well with mixed flying sometimes caning it sometimes taking it easy but yeah yeah i thought i saw those and grabbed them last night so in summary what a absolute fantastic couple of days. I, I genuinely mean that. I've had three flying days back to back and I'd really quite happily go out again. So if you did go out flying this weekend, happy days. I hope you had some decent weather. I really do. Uh, and if you didn't go out flying this weekend, I can assure you I came the nuts off the vast majority of my models. Uh, so yeah, I put a battery in just for you. Uh, yeah, we had a bit of fun on the flight line and PLA King. There's only one model worth mentioning uh, in the PLA Bonanza, uh, which is the AXN Floater Jet. Absolutely brilliant model. Love it to bits. That's the model which I learned to fly in. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So maybe if you were looking for a Christmas present for uh, friends or nephews, whatever, um, and then for someone to look to get started in the hobby, or maybe you just want a new one, uh, that would be classed as happy days. The rest of it, complete washout. Friday was a washout. Today is almost a complete washout as well. Uh, and then, yeah, last topic, some LED bars. They look really, really cool. That's happy days. Uh, and yeah, the POS, cement mixer, lipos, an air rifle, and some fireworks. I don't think, I, I don't know what could go wrong with that, to be honest. I think it's a perfect send-off for a POS. <laughs> so with that said, if you are out flying today, do let me know what you're going to be flying today. You can let me know in the comments section underneath this episode. And with that said, thank you for joining me for a cup of this morning. And I shall see you tomorrow morning. Oh, as far as video episodes go for today, uh, I have scheduled out mail episode videos for every single day this week. So this week sorted for mail episode videos. Uh, to give you a little heads up on what's coming, uh, I still have my mail here, which is turned up. I've got, I think that's some SMA connectors, just says motor on that packet. 
I do have a mini Mobius uh, in that one, I think. The, you know, that tiny little camera which I mentioned a while ago. I uh, bought one, that's turned up. And I also have a pair of Runcam Owls as well, which I've bought. Uh, I do have a third one on the way to me too. Uh, and the reason for that, oh look, it's part of the uh, POS. Don't want to miss that out. And I do, yeah, there's a third one on the way to me as well. Uh, and the reason for that is that the C1 Chaser build has to get finished this week uh, so we can get her up and get some flight time. Remember, I did get the 18650 battery uh, sorted. I will try and edit up the episode for the about the 18650 batteries. Uh, I think you heard me, well, you, if you've watched previous coffee chats, uh, there is a lot of BS out there on YouTube about these batteries. The people who are buying these batteries are buying like the ones which say 9,000 milliampere hours, and we all know that's complete BS because the biggest size which you can actually get in one of these cells is 3,500s. These are 3,500s, and all of my tests have failed, basically. Uh, none of them have got to 3,500 milliampere hours usage. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. But in short, I am absolutely super impressed with these batteries uh, and I'm going to put an episode together especially for these just to debunk some of the myths which are out there uh, because it is what you're seeing on YouTube is all just complete BS. Uh, they're just buying the cheap batteries and then slating them to make a video when in reality, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a heads up. So many of you know that I vape. So normally with the N, uh, what's it, the NCR batteries, 18650Bs, uh, they will last me half a day. I put three of those 3,500 packs in there. It lasted me a day. That is just nuts. Uh, so yeah, if you've seen bad videos on 18650 batteries, do not believe them. The reality is that if you buy decent batteries, they do last and I will be using these in my models, hence why I've got a pack sat here in my hand uh, and I'm gonna be making up some other packs as well because they are very, very good. So with that said, I really am going now. I've actually got a hot cup of coffee today. Mmm, happy days. Let's go and get this episode edited up for you. And like I said, if you are out flying today, do let me know what, you, what you're gonna be flying and maybe you got out and got some flying in over the weekend. I need details. Let me know in the comments section. So with that said, from myself, Matt, and his warm cup of coffee to say, today, thank you for joining me for today's RC Coffee Chat. See you tomorrow. Cheerios.